It's midnight GMT. Hello, I'm Nigel Cassidy, and this is Business Matters on the BBC World Service. Coming soon, the UK, the US, Iran and OPEC, how oil traders are reading the seizure of a large crude carrier ostensibly on a sanctions-busting passage to Syria. You see in this sort of case why and how really the, the US is, is exerting its pressure on, on the oil market, you know, via its diplomacy and via its own output, which is now at a record high. The US creates nearly a quarter of a million more jobs, but is it such good news for markets fixated on falling interest rates? We go back to the classroom to learn about the lifelong benefits of money lessons and the latest moves to create 24-hour cities. That's Business Matters here on the BBC after the latest world news. Christine, uh, we've got this massive uh, London Pride parade uh, this weekend here in London. They say it is the biggest gay pride parade ever. And you've just had your own in New York, I think, uh, and in many cities uh, last week. We did in some of the major cities across the nation. There were great, there were um, pride parades uh, last weekend. And I think the issue is even highlighted more um, with the presidential candidate, Pete Buttigieg, who um, is a a gay man and who actually is in Massachusetts today, uh, Elizabeth Warren's turf, um, to hold a a town hall in Provincetown, which um, has been a destination for the LGBTQ community for, for decades. Um, and it's interesting also that uh, Mayor Buttigieg has beaten Biden um, in fundraising. Raises all kinds of political issues. But I guess the lesson is that no presidential candidate can afford to ignore these issues.